This curve before us is called the cooling curve. This is the reverse of the before curve that was the heating curve. Here we convert gas into liquid and on cooling liquid is converting into solid. So we take a very common example water. So we started from steam. So we cool down steam and steam is converting into liquid as before on y axis there is temperature in degree centigrade on x axis it is time in minutes and uh, at the point f we are taking start it is steam we are cooling down we are going down this time the temperature is going down so from point f which is steam we are cooling down and steam temperature is falling down heat is extracted out of out of it heat is driven out and at point E steam is converted it into liquid water so from point E to D steam and the liquid water both are coexisting the temperature at which steam is converting into liquid is called condensation point and between E and D both of the state of matter steam and liquid coexist and you see that from point E to D the time is passing on but the temperature remains same again it is the change in the state of matter when one state of matter converts into other state of matter the temperature remains same and that is the latent heat to the point D all the ice has converted into liquid water from point D to C, the temperature of the liquid water is going down and down and liquid water temperature is cooled down. So from point C, the liquid water is converting into ice. So this is the freezing point when liquid water is converting into ice. From point C to B, ice and water coexist and again you can observe that between the point C and B the temperature remains same in this the liquid water is converting into ice when one state of matter converts itself into another state of matter the temperature remains same to the point B all of the liquid water has changed into ice and from B to A the temperature is falling down and it is all ice solid state. So on the cooling curve from the point F to point E it is the steam and its temperature is falling down. From point E to D it is the steam and water they coexist and that is the condensation point and the point D to C it is all the water and its temperature is falling down because throughout the cooling curve we are cooling it down from point C to B it is the water freezing and converting itself from liquid water into ice and from B to A it is the ice and its temperature is falling down. This is about the cooling curve.